Hello, viewers. In this lecture, I'm going to answer a question that was posed by a researcher on ResearchGate. His question was how to write a MATLAB code for middle Leffler function of three parameters. So let me show you the definition of this function before we design its MATLAB code. So as you can see on the slide, the first equation is the definition for the three parameter metak leffler function, also known as Perbalker function. The three parameters in this function are alpha, beta, and gamma. If gamma is substituted as one, then it reduces to two parameter metak leffler function as shown by the second equation. Likewise, if you put beta to be 1, then the function reduces to one parameter metak leffler function, as you can see by the third equation on the slide. Finally, if I put alpha also equal to 1, then this function reduces to the classical function in calculus, what we call exponential function. So that is why the metak leffler function is the generalization of the exponential function. Like exponential function is frequently used in classical calculus, the metak leffler function is extensively used in fractional calculus. Let's go to the MATLAB code. So, you can see in the code, starting from line number 3, I have introduced two symbols here, x and k. So, sims command is used to introduce these two symbols. Next, you can see that the values of th these three parameters are arbitrarily chosen by me as 0 0.95, 0 0.87, and 0 0.68. Later on, you can see that lines 12 and 13 is what is the definition for the three parameter metak leffler function that you just saw on the slide. So I have used here an expression, the symbolic notation, a command called sim sum available in MATLAB. And then rest of the letters are same as you had seen on the slide. So look at this, the K which was the index in the definition of the three parameter metak leffler function it starts from zero and goes to infinity. The rest of the symbols are also same as in the definition. After that, on line number five, I have chosen 11 points between zero and one. These are the points at which I would like to see the value of the metak leffler function with these three parameters. So I will have 11 values as you can see the number assigned by me. After that, I have created a vector shown by capital X and lin space command is used for linearly spaced data. From A to B, I will have 11 values. After that, the main part of the code starts, which is a for loop. Let me open this loop. And now you can see the loop is only of one line, that is line number 21. Okay, so metric i comma 1, when i is 1, it will have a position 1 comma 1, it means to have first row and first column, so it will be first element. When i is 2, 2 comma 1, it means that the second row, first column, it means you will have the second element at that position and so on and so forth. And here you can see that the metric series, that was the name of this expression. And then you can see that small x, this was the old uh, variable used in the expression. Now it will be replaced by these new numbers, x of i. So when i is 1, x of 1 will be the first value from this vector. Likewise, as the loop goes on, it will be taking more and more values until p is equal to 11. And then it will start putting these numbers into 
this expression for which I have used the command subs. And then I have used another command double to convert the numbers into, uh, to get the numbers into double precision. Fine, so I would like to see the values. So capital X, I have assigned it, assigned it a name, X values. And the mid-tug, this you see the apostrophe because I was getting the column vector to make it a horizontal vector or the row vector. I have put a apostrophe over here and this is given a name mid-tug values. After that, I have substituted or I have put these two variables into a matrix notation. And I haven't suppressed this uh, result so that I can see the outputs. After that, I have also plotted the meter Leffler function with three parameters, while the curve will be of width two. So let's see what is the output of uh, this small code. I'm going to run this code and then we will have to wait for a couple of seconds. You will see the numbers on the command window and as well as the graph of this meta Leffler function with three parameters. That's it, now you can play with the code and you can change the values of alpha, beta and gamma and you can see the behavior of the curve. Let me also tell you that if in this code you are going to put, let's say, alpha to be 1 and beta to be 1 as well. And finally, gamma also 1. So if I run this code, of course, this should give me the graph of the exponential function. So let me run the code here. And you saw that quickly we got the values. And we know that exponential function, when we put 1, its approximate value is 2.71 at something. So this is how we can design a MATLAB code for three parameter meta Leffler function. You can make it for two parameters as well, keeping gamma to be one and change the values of alpha and beta, write them any decimal number. You can also make it a definition for the one parameter by putting beta one, gamma one and changing alpha to be any uh, fractional number. So the code works for all of these three types of metric Leffler function. I hope you understood it and you have enjoyed the lecture. Finally, I would request you to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching the lecture.